John Smith and Thomas Ellis, The Breakup. In 1607, after giving up hope on purifying the Church of England, John Smith, an Anglican bishop, separated from the church and relocated his following in Holland. Smith had a following of approximately 40. His closest follower and right-hand man was Thomas Ellis. As time went on, Smith decided that the Church of England's baptisms were invalid and took up the belief of believers' baptism. Throwing out the Church of England's baptisms left Smith with a huge problem. Smith and his followers had all been baptized by the Church of England and therefore had never received true baptism. Smith declared that there was no true church to receive baptism from. Believing that he had no other option, Smith then baptized himself by dumping water over his own head. This self-baptism would be very controversial and contended by many critics. After his self-baptism, Smith then baptized his following, beginning with Thomas Ellis. Not many months after baptizing himself, Smith changed his stance on his decision. Smith admitted that the self-baptism was the wrong thing to do. Smith now believed that he should have requested baptism from the Mennonite community, who was practicing believers' baptism in the area. Smith's new stance may have been caused by his new view of the Anabaptists. Smith now viewed the Anabaptists, who were also referred to as the Waterlanders, the true church. In 1610, Smith requested membership from the Waterlanders. Smith received backing from the majority of his congregation, who also sought membership from the Anabaptists. However, his closest friend, Thomas Ellis, refused to accept the Waterlanders as the true church. According to Bebbington, he did not accept the Waterlanders' dismissal of original sin or their toleration of the Melchorite view of the Incarnation. He thought them too lax in their Sabbath observance and too stringent in rejecting a Christian magistrate. For these reasons, Hellas decided to break away from Smith. A small group accompanied Hellas and also refused to join the Waterlanders. According to Hellas and his followers, Baptists were not Anabaptists. After separating from Smith, Hellas decided that he and his followers should move back to England. Hellas established his church in Spitalfield an area outside of London. The vast majority of historians consider Ellis's congregation to be the first Baptist church on English soil. Thomas Ellis decided that his church would remain in England and would not flee their homeland in the midst of persecution. Instead of running away from the church, Ellis attacked the Church of England by publishing his famous work, A Short Declaration of the Mystery of England iniquity. According to Leon Macbeth, Ellis even attempted to present a copy to King James. Ellis was not successful in obtaining religious liberty. He was later placed in prison where he eventually died in the year of 1926. While John Smith is often regarded as the first Baptist, Ellis should, rem should be remembered for preserving the Baptist movement. If not for Ellis's stance against Smith, the General Baptist movement may have quickly came to an abrupt end by conforming to the Anabaptist tradition. Ellis's decision to leave Holland and return to England is one of the most significant events in Baptist history.